It's Circus Atari for the Atari 2600. I remember playing this game, the arcade. Absolutely loved it. I was playing Circus that was made by Exidy. I actually did a video some time ago as part of my ABCs of Willie's favorite Atari 2600 games where I covered Circus. And I talk about the first time I played it with my older brother and, and, my, and my history with it. So if you want to check that out, I'll put a link to that video down below. But we're going to talk about the arcade version of Circus here real quick. It's actually an incredible fun game. Now, this was released by other manufacturers under other, other names, uh, such as Clowns by Ballet by Midway. That's another one I played a lot of at my local arcade. But I'll never forget playing Circus for the first time with my older brother. It was such a great memory to have. We had a great time playing that game. Very hilarious watching the clowns go splat when you miss <laughs> and the sound effects. Pretty funny. We're going to talk about Circus Atari on the Atari 2600. What a great game. I love the box art like I've said in the past. I, I love the full color box art on the Atari cartridges. Especially these drawings. They're always so neat to see. This has eight video games in it. Different variations of Circus Atari. One or two players. The back of the box basically just says uh, nothing. Just one or two players. One to eight Circus Atari games. No screenshot. Nothing like that. You can see where I picked this up. I picked this up for $8.95 at Lost Ark Video Games in uh, Greensboro, North Carolina. Pretty cool video game store. Highly recommend it. Anyway, in the box, of course we have the cartridge. It has the same artwork on the front. This one's kind of faded quite a bit. But still cool. And we have a full color game manual, which I absolutely love. Same artwork on the front. Gives you the object of the game. Pop, 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 pop the balloons and score points. A wall of red, blue, and white balloons will appear at the top of the screen. You must pop balloons by catching a clown on the teeter-totter and bouncing him up to the balloons. Use a controller to move the teeter-totter across the screen to catch the clowns. Each time a clown pops a balloon, the balloon will disappear and you score points. Each player receives five clowns or turns. If you fail to catch a clown on the teeter-totter, he will crash and disappear from the playfield. Press the red controller button and another clown will bounce off the trampoline from right to left corner of the playfield. After five clowns have crashed, the game is over. The clowns may land on any point of the teeter-totter except where the other clown is sitting, which causes them to go splat. <laughs> so basically, this is a paddle control game. As you know, I love games that use the paddle controllers on the 2600. It's one of my favorite genre of games, you know, like Breakout, Pong, this, uh, you know, other games that use the paddle controller, or the steering controller, either one. Shows the game screens, you know, have your score, how many clowns you have left, the game number, number of players when you're going through it. Then your difficulty switches in uh, position A, Clowns will bounce faster if contact with the balloons and the teeter-totter. In B, you have better control of the clowns as they're not moving as fast. I will play it in the B position. <laughs> Do color, black and white. Put it in black and white, it'll kind of look like the uh, arcade version a little bit. They have your different game variations. We have eight game variations, you know, one-player games, two-player games. We got Breakout and Breakthrough. Breakout puts these like these little bars that go back and forth below the balloons that you gotta to try to avoid. They can also help you too, because if your clown comes down on one, he'll bounce back up into the balloons again. Such a great game. So anyway, let's fire this up and have some clown bouncing boom plopping fun. Okay, let's play some Circus of Terry on the old Terry 2600. Here we go. Boing. I like the sound effects in this game. Oh, come on, get up here. There we go. Get some balloons popping. And Splatty the Clown goes splat. Oh. Come on, get up there. Oh. 
Oh, yeah, that's the bad thing about this game. You can't get back into that far corner. That's where I typically lose a lot of my clowns. Oh, that was that was close. Oh, really? Come on. That was bad. Oh. It's funny, I play this game when I'm not recording, and I do really well. When I record the game, I do really bad. Oh, we did a little jig up there. That's cool. I like it when they do that. Come on, let's knock out a row of balloons here. No, not the death jig. <laughs> Come on, man. At least Blake one row of balloons. I like the sound effect that plays when you bust a line of balloons. Splatty the clown is living up to his name. Whoop. Come on, get up there. Ooh, that was close. Yeah, do a little jig. Oh, I love that sound effect. That is such a cool sound effect. Bust that red balloon up there. Get some big points. Awesome. And splatty go splat again. Some bonus points. Yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. The clowns are out of control. Oh. 937. That's a pretty good score. Well, for me, it is at least. <laughs> This is such a great game. Let's play one of the other ga game variations where you have like these little bars that block your clown. This makes the game really challenging. Whoop. Of course, it can help you too every once in a while. How he bounces across them. Yeah, they did a real good job with this game for the 2600. It's very enjoyable. I mean, if you're a fan of, uh, you know, the clown games and circus games in the arcade, you'd probably really like this. Very simple gameplay, challenging and quite enjoyable to play. Oh yeah, there we go. Oh. Get up there. Get up there. Well, oh, that was a good run. Oh, I go splat. Game over, man. Game over. Well, that's Circus Atari. Really cool game on the Atari 2600. One of my favorites. I'd recommend giving it a try if you've never played this before. Also, give the arcade versions a try. You know, my favorite play in the arcade is, of course, a Circus by Exidy. But Clowns by Midway is actually pretty good, too. Anyway, as always, everyone, thanks for watching.
No other company offers you as many different video game cartridges as Atari.